If you're just like me, you've probably been experiencing a whole bunch of lag, input delay, and FPS drops. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to fix that in the new Fortnite Season 2. Alright, before this video starts, I'd appreciate it if you guys would like and subscribe. Watch that video right there in the info card. But uh, yeah, let's get straight into the video. Alright, first you want to right click your desktop, click show more options, and then click personalize. Very, very simple. On a, and then on uh, Windows 10, it's just you right click and then you don't need to press uh, show more options. It should just pop up this menu and then press personalize. And then you click background. Then make your background, personalize your background right here. It's usually on like picture or something like that, but you want this to be on a solid color. Like if it's animated or something like that, there's just too much colors going on in your background. It's just going to be doing that while you're in the game, which is not going to be very good. So just make this any uh, color you want. Like all these colors are kind of ugly, so just like let's do straight black. Then we're just gonna go into gaming. You guys should have this. The game mode. You wanna turn game mode on. Optimizes your PC for play. So it's gonna turn everything in your background off. Well, not everything, but most things in your background is just gonna turn off, which is just gonna boost your FPS and your lower your input delay and stuff like that while you're in game. All right, and now. Actually, before anything, before we go anything else, I want you guys to go to Update Windows. Just click Check for Updates. You're gonna wait for this to load. And if you have any updates, you wanna hurry up, do that, come back to this video. Really need your device to be updated. I already have mine updated, so I'm just not gonna do that. So if you do have that updated. Also, if you have NVIDIA drivers, if you don't have NVIDIA drivers, you can just skip over this. If you guys do, you need to download GeForce Experience. It's free. I'll put it in this link in the description to download. Just open GeForce Experience. Like if you don't have it, just uh, click drivers. Usually want to check for updates. GeForce game ready driver. You usually always want to update your drivers. Help your PC a lot. I actually need to update my drivers, but I'll do that after. I gotta show you guys this whole video. Alright, so if you have all that done, I'm gonna continue the video. Go back into your settings. Go back into gaming and then captures. For captures, you want all of this to be off unless you want clips. If you don't have NVIDIA drivers, because in the video you can do clips, stuff like that. Uh, look up how to get clips on the video. You can get clips on Fortnite. But I already have that, so. And if you want to record what happened, you can turn this on. I don't use it, so have that off. Also, in related settings, scroll down. Click related settings, graphics, and then in here, you want your Fortnite. Basically, what this does is it's gonna put your drivers on high performance. So look, I'm using my GTX 1650 high performance, and to do that, you just press browse, and then find where your Fortnite is located at. It be my E Drive, Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite game, binaries, Win64. And then put shipping in there, put launcher, put both these shippings, put launcher in there. That's that's it, that's all you gotta do. And then it should pop up this menu. Make sure you click on high performance. Basically just optimizes Fortnite, makes it way better. And your GPU is just gonna work double time to make you get way more FPS. All right, now we're just gonna go into the control panel. And then in here, click power options. If it doesn't pop up here, just look up. Uh, oh. My keyboard stuff work. Power options, like this. I have a laptop, so for some reason, if like, you wanna check this when you put your PC back on, but if you, only if laptop. Cause I have a laptop, anytime my uh, power disconnects, it goes back to balance. So usually you want high performance, or if you have a higher end PC, ultimate performance. If you just look up on Google how to get high performance, you should just do that. Put it in your CMD. Very simple. But for this, whatever power plan you have, just click change power plan settings. For every single one of these, just make this never. Click change power, change advanced power options. Go down, processor uh, power management. Minimum and maximum, you want to put this all on 100. Because when I say CPU and GP intense game, so usually what you want to have is your processor power management. To 100. I should have done this already, but you guys want to go back into settings, scroll down, click system, scroll down so you find about, and then right here, advanced system settings, click this, formats right here, click settings, 
you want to turn this on to adjust for best performance which is just going to turn everything off and then show thumbnails instead of icons that's just going to do it so you can see your photos your clips stuff like that like you can see the uh, thumbnail of your clips instead of like so a recording outline or recording icon it's just gonna this just this is just for convenience you guys don't need to have this on so apply apply and then okay and then for wi-fi i'm gonna show you guys the best dns servers it's just gonna change your nearest server and make it really really good like the best server for you all right we can go back to control panel wi-fi network and sharing center click this pop up this whatever internet you're using i'm using spectrum like this it's gonna pop up when you click properties pops up this whole thing scroll down to you find your internet protocol version 4 here properties and put your preferred DM dns server on the on the screen right here make it exactly like this you can look you can research more into dns servers and what the best is for you but i would really recommend this dns server over any other one all right then just open epic games your games launcher i click these three little dots click options this is going to pop up this you want to turn off high resolution textures direct uh, x12 shaders this should be also off by default but if you use direct x12 uh, keep that on that's it Hit apply i exited out of it because it's, it's going to kind of like it's going to delete it and then it's just going to like re-download it's just going to like take a second for it to delete so now just launch it to fortnite after your download's done all right, once you're in Fortnite, just go into your settings. And then in the video, you want your window mode to be full screen, your resolution to be your default resolution. Mine's 1920 by 1080. V-Sync off unless you have screen tearing. Uh, frame rate limit, you want this to be, basically, if my monitor is 120 FPS, we don't want to keep this, we don't want to keep it capped at 120 because it's usually, it's going to dip down. It's going to like, kind of give you a little bit of screen tearing. So, like me, I'm on 120, put this just one up. If you're on 160, put this 165. So I'm on 120, I'm gonna put mine on 144. Performance mode, if your PC is not as good and it can't use DirectX 12 or 11, uh, use performance mode. Brightness, that's just your um, preference. 3 resolution, good 3D resolution is in between 75 and 85. But if you don't like how low quality it is, you could do uh, 85 to about 90 or 95. Or you can just put it at 100, but that's gonna lower your FPS. Then all of these just need to be on off or low. And then, and then going into your game UI, you want your uh, HUD scale to be at 60. That, that's really just gonna remove the clutter on your screen, if anything. Then in game, scroll all the way down make sure you do not have replays on if replays are on that's gonna it's gonna really really mess up your fps and stuff like that so turn that all off also if you're experiencing any lag make sure you're using the right matchmaking region do not have it on auto go to your phone look up what region you're on or you can just look here on the side nae says 29 central says 42 west says 62 so whatever your lowest one is just keep it at that Mine is NA East. That's about it. Hope you guys like and subscribe.